Earth's magnetic field is the basis for all modern navigation. Strong dipole magnetic field, and that prevents water from being lost from the Earth, also protects us from the deadly radiation. Deep within the Earth's core, a mysterious shift has captivated scientists and curious minds. Reports have it that another reversal of the magnetic north and south poles is near. This magnetic pole reversal or flip is not mere speculation. It has happened before, and previous studies have unearthed evidence of hundreds of such flips. What is the cause of this phenomenon? What forces are steering our planet's magnetic components in such a peculiar way? And, more importantly, why is nobody talking about this? Something terrifying is indeed going on. Join us as we embark on a journey into the enigmatic phenomenon of the Earth's pole reversal, which has stirred genuine concern among scientists. Earth's magnetic field serves as a crucial protector against deadly space radiation. Recent studies show that this protective shield can weaken significantly, possibly as a prelude to a complete reversal of its polarity. This phenomenon has occurred many times on Earth. Picture our planet as Spaceship Earth, equipped with a genuine deflector shield, a geomagnetic field. This magnetic defense is constructed from lines of magnetic force, originating from the currents within the Earth's molten core. These magnetic lines reach out from the surface near the geographic north and south poles and interconnect, enveloping the planet in a dipole field resembling an enormous bar magnet. Magnetic fields exert a force on moving charged particles, compelling them to spiral along these force lines. This action is incredibly beneficial because Earth constantly encounters high-speed charged particles, particularly those emitted by the Sun. Our magnetic field plays a vital role in deflecting the most harmful of these particles. But what exactly is the Earth's magnetic field, and how did it come about? Deep beneath the Earth's surface, at depths of thousands of kilometers, lies an extensive reservoir of molten iron within the outer core. As Earth rotates, this liquid iron flows, generating electrical currents that give rise to Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's core lies beneath the thin crust and the 2,900-kilometer solid mantle. The outer core, extending 2,400 kilometers in thickness, consists of molten iron, nickel, and some additional elements. It's important to clarify that we're not referring to lava here. Instead, we're talking about liquid metal with a viscosity similar to water. Below the outer core layer lies the inner core, a solid iron sphere with a radius of approximately 1,200 kilometers. This inner core remains solid due to the immense pressure at that depth and a temperature of around 5,500 Kelvin. It would instantly liquefy under lower pressures. The core's interior is in constant motion, with the solid core rotating slightly faster than the surface, resulting in a core day slightly shorter than a surface day. The outer core exhibits a rotational gradient, with the outermost layer rotating somewhat more slowly than the surface, but speeding up as you go deeper into the core. This motion becomes increasingly complex. The Earth's interior slowly cools, causing the liquid outer core to freeze and form a solid inner core. As the inner core expands, it releases non-iron impurities, which flow upward and join convection currents. These flows are then twisted into helical patterns by the Coriolis force, which gives rise to hurricanes on Earth's surface. This collective motion generates Earth's magnetic field through a process known as the dynamo effect, an explanation widely accepted by most scientists today. However, Earth's magnetic field is not uniform. About 2,900 kilometers below the African continent, a massive reservoir of dense rock is known as the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province, LLSVP. This mysterious structure is responsible for the South Atlantic anomaly. LLSVPs are immense structures deep within the Earth's mantle, spanning thousands of kilometers. They earn their name because seismic waves, particularly shear waves, travel more slowly through these regions than the surrounding mantle material. These differences in wave velocity result from variations in temperature, composition, or a combination of both factors. To unravel the complexities of Earth's interior, it is crucial to understand LLSVPs. Imagine Earth as a layered sphere with a hot, solid core at its center, surrounded by a semi-solid mantle and covered by a thin outer crust. The mantle is a vast, slowly moving region of rock. 
At the base of the mantle, near the outer core's boundary, lie mysterious LLSVPs. Two prominent ones, the African LLSVP under Africa and the Pacific LLSVP under the Pacific Ocean, impact mantle processes like convection and plate movement. The African LLSVP, existing for millions of years, disrupts the flow of molten iron, weakening Earth's magnetic field. This disturbance also tilts Earth's magnetic axis, making magnetic poles dynamic and contributing to phenomena like the South Atlantic Anomaly. The South Atlantic Anomaly has been recognized by scientists since 1958. Thus, it is not a recent occurrence. According to some studies, it appears to be a recurring magnetic phenomenon impacting Earth for an estimated 11 million years. Another factor contributing to the weakened magnetic field is the emission of charged particles and plasma from the Sun. When these solar materials interact with Earth's magnetosphere, they get trapped in the Van Allen belts. These Van Allen belts are like two torus-shaped zones encircling the Earth, trapping and guiding these solar materials along the planet's magnetic field lines. Their movement causes these particles to swing back and forth between the magnetic poles. The innermost belt is located around 645 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It is a protective barrier that helps maintain a safe distance between charged particles and the satellites orbiting our planet. However, during particularly intense solar storms, the Van Allen belts can become highly energized, leading to the distortion of the magnetic field and permitting the infiltration of charged particles into the atmosphere. According to a study, under such conditions, a localized field with reverse polarity may intensify within the South Atlantic Anomaly region, resulting in an exceptionally weakened field compared to its surrounding areas. Numerous potential explanations exist for the Earth's magnetic field anomaly, yet many puzzling issues remain. One intriguing observation came to light in a 2016 study, which revealed the gradual northwestward shift of the South Atlantic anomaly. What's more, this anomaly isn't merely in motion, it is also undergoing a division into two distinct segments. In 2020, satellite data from the European Space Agency unveiled that the South Atlantic anomaly is splitting into two separate cells, each representing an independent center of minimal magnetic intensity. This intricate interplay between the Sun's emissions, the Earth's magnetosphere, and the Van Allen belts constitutes a captivating phenomenon with implications for space exploration and our comprehension of our planet's protective shield against solar radiation. Now, what might occur if Earth were to lose its magnetic field? Could our atmosphere dissipate? Would relentless space radiation threaten life? These are questions to which we may soon find answers. Currently, the magnetic field is undergoing rapid changes, suggesting the possibility of a forthcoming reversal of its polarity. This means the North Pole could become the South, and vice versa, a phenomenon known as a geomagnetic reversal. During this process, we would find ourselves relatively defenseless for thousands of years. Evidence from the geological record indicates that it has happened many times before. Let's consider why yet another occurrence of such a reversal might be conceivable. Magnetic materials like iron tend to align their natural fields with Earth's magnetic field. Analyzing the alignment of Earth's magnetic field within sedimentary layers and ancient volcanic deposits has provided insights into the field's history. It has been revealed that Earth's magnetic field has undergone an astonishing 183 reversals in direction over the last 84 million years, occurring at an approximate rate of one reversal every half a million years. Notably, the most recent complete geomagnetic reversal occurred over 700,000 years ago, raising the possibility that the expected interval for another such event is passing. However, these reversals appear to be rather random events, and our current status may not necessarily mean we are due for one. Yet, the recent behavior of the magnetic field does seem peculiar. We must delve into the mechanics of the dynamo theory to understand the likelihood of a reversal. The dynamo theory not only accounts for geomagnetism, but also elucidates why Earth's magnetic field occasionally undergoes polarity reversals. Now let's delve into how this process happens. The crucial aspect of the dynamo effect is that it doesn't create a magnetic field from scratch. Instead, it amplifies, arranges, and sustains an existing field. We'll return to the origin of that initial magnetic field in a moment. Let's assume we begin with a relatively weak dipole field. This field passes through the electrically conductive liquid outer core. Conductors possess a fascinating property. They drag magnetic fields along with them. 
Consequently, if the entire core rotates with the Earth, the magnetic field will also undergo rotation. However, it's important to note that the outer core's rotation speeds up as you move toward its center. Thus, the initial magnetic field becomes wound into circular rings around the axis of rotation, forming a torus shape. Now, consider the second type of motion within the outer core. Streams of conducting material twist into helical patterns due to the Coriolis force. These flows grasp the toroidal magnetic field and twist it into numerous small loops. These loops create magnetic tubes encircling Earth's rotational axis, which, in turn, generate toroidal electrical currents. This setup aligns precisely with the conditions of an electromagnet structured ring of current, responsible for producing our extensive dipole field. Now, let's address where the initial magnetic field originates. Interestingly, even any weak field, such as random bits of field rising from thermal fluctuations, is sufficient to initiate this cascading effect. Once initiated, the field gradually builds to maximum strength. This phenomenon isn't exclusive to Earth. Any rotating celestial body with a fluid conductor can generate such a magnetic field. These celestial bodies include our planet and the Sun, with its flowing hydrogen plasma, or the liquid metallic hydrogen within the cores of Jupiter and Saturn. The magnetic field produced through this process may appear organized but is not as stable as a traditional bar magnet. It shifts and moves over time. The Earth's magnetic field is a changeable thing. Even though they're near the geographic poles, the north and south magnetic poles aren't exactly in the same spot all the time. They move around quite a bit. Right now, the magnetic north pole is moving about 60 kilometers per year, which is roughly 5 degrees south of the geographic pole. It is gradually departing from Canadian territory and heading towards Siberia. Furthermore, the strength of the magnetic field across the Earth's surface undergoes fluctuations and all these variations are attributed to the changing flows within the outer core. Now, let's explore the intriguing concept of the magnetic field flipping over. How does this reversal even occur? Doesn't the direction of the magnetic field depend on Earth's rotation? In reality, it doesn't hinge on Earth's rotation, but rather on the orientation of the enormous electrical currents, which, in turn, are dictated by the direction of small magnetic loops generated by the helical convection flows. In fact, if the magnetic field were completely switched off, it would re-establish itself randomly, aligning the north and south magnetic poles in either direction. In the geological record, there appears to be no discernible pattern regarding when the field flips or which alignment is favored. This randomness likely describes the process of a flip. Earth's magnetic field isn't necessarily turned off during a reversal, but undergoes some form of disruption and reconfiguration. It then rebuilds itself, selecting its orientation randomly. When this process results in a complete reversal, it is termed a geomagnetic reversal. If the field merely experiences a hiccup but ultimately retains its initial direction, it's referred to as a geomagnetic excursion. Several hypotheses exist regarding the triggers for these disruptions. Certain events could provoke disturbances in the flows within the outer core. These events might include asteroid or comet impacts, interactions between the core and mantle such as the formation of new magma plumes, or the subduction of continental plates. While various triggers for geomagnetic events have been proposed, no concrete evidence supports them. Consequently, most scientists consider these geomagnetic phenomena a natural aspect of dynamo behavior. In this behavior, the wild motion of the fluid in the outer core leads to the tangling of magnetic field lines and a global reduction in field strength. Now, you might be wondering how we've come to understand all of this. In truth, it's a complex challenge. Computer simulations have demonstrated that the dynamo effect should generate a large-scale dipole field that spontaneously undergoes reversals, though the precise mechanisms remain elusive. For those skeptical of computer simulations, another approach is building your colossal rotating sphere of molten metal. Several liquid sodium experiments have been conducted, effectively simulating the dynamo effect within the outer core and revealing spontaneous polarity reversals. Regardless of the mechanism driving geomagnetic reversals, we know they have occurred and are likely to happen again. But is a reversal happening right now? Well, not necessarily. The International World Magnetic Model, WMM, offers a comprehensive map of Earth's magnetic field, typically undergoing updates every five years. 
However, recent observations have revealed an unusually swift movement of the North Magnetic Pole. As a result, the WWMM underwent an early update, occurring nearly a year ahead of its initially scheduled update at the outset of 2019. Additionally, another update was planned for the conclusion of that same year. While scientists are unsure of the triggers, many still believe the magnetic field might be on the verge of flipping soon. There are two primary reasons for this hypothesis. Firstly, it relates to the geological records of our planet. Over the last 200 years, scientists have observed that the magnetic field has weakened by approximately 9%. In other words, about two centuries ago, the field was roughly 9% stronger than it is today. In addition, the South Atlantic anomaly in the South Atlantic region is enough reason for some scientists to believe that a flipping is due soon. This specific region has already posed numerous challenges for various space missions. Some of these challenges are relatively minor, such as the Hubble telescope needing to conduct scientific observations to capture and traverse images in this area. However, some missions have faced more significant disruptions. It poses a considerable challenge for satellites and spacecraft traversing the affected regions. Due to the weakened magnetic field in this area, these devices become more susceptible than usual to charged particles from the sun, potentially causing severe short circuits and malfunctions. Even the International Space Station faces certain vulnerabilities as it passes through the anomaly region. While its interior and occupants are well protected, certain instruments mounted outside the ISS, such as the Global Ecosystem Dynamics Investigation GED, mission, can experience disruptions. For example, the South Atlantic anomaly is known to interfere notably with Getty detectors, resulting in substantial data loss and permanent damage to critical components. Operators must routinely shut down spacecraft systems before entering the anomaly zone. This shows us how sensitive technical equipment is to disturbances in the magnetic field. As we are a civilization that lives with increasing mechanization, it is therefore imperative for us to monitor the anomaly closely. Now, taking a closer look at the accelerated movement of the North Magnetic Pole, a vital question arises. Does the pole signify that the field is on the brink of a reversal? Not necessarily. While it's a possibility, we know that the magnetic field can fluctuate considerably even when it's not in the process of reversing. We would need to observe much more significant disruptions before genuine concern is warranted. So, what would happen today if the Earth's magnetic poles flip? One of the most prominent and unsettling consequences would be a rise in cancer cases. As previously mentioned, Earth's magnetic field serves as a shield against harmful solar energetic particles and cosmic rays. A weakened or temporary loss of the magnetic field can induce genetic abnormalities and potentially elevate cancer rates. If the flip were preceded by extended periods of erratic magnetic behavior, the threat to life would further escalate. We will likely need to enhance our satellite shielding to protect against the solar wind. Moreover, the magnetic field during a reversal becomes quite chaotic, resulting in the emergence of miniature north and south magnetic poles across the planet's surface. This emergence could lead to confusion among certain species of migrating birds and traditional sea captains. Any disruption to our satellites would have far-reaching consequences for our daily lives. The disruption could compromise our electric grid, leading to the failure of electronic devices, including household appliances and wireless equipment. Our predicament will arise from the fact that our essential infrastructure was established when the Earth's magnetic field exhibited robust and consistent characteristics, without considering occurrences such as magnetic pole reversals. Therefore, even slight alterations in the magnetic field can cause significant disruptions to the complex systems we've constructed. If this happens, we could end up saying goodbye to a lot of things we usually don't think much about like the internet, social media, YouTube, phone calls, and GPS. It would also affect live TV broadcasts, weather predictions, keeping an eye on the environment, and talking to each other. Experts say we might not even have electricity for our houses anymore. Even a simple compass would not work right because it would not show the correct direction. With all these unknowns, we clearly need more studies to get ready for something huge like a pole shift. We've got our eyes peeled on the South Atlantic anomaly, that's for sure. NASA and other space agencies are keeping tabs from up above, while Earth-bound geologists dig into this enigma. Fortunately, scientists still possess a relatively solid grasp of this phenomenon. 
They believe that Earth's magnetic field will probably endure for the duration of our lifetimes and those of many future generations. We can find comfort in knowing that we remain protected from the most devastating consequences of solar storms and the dangers of our space surroundings progressively exposed to radiation. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.